Hi everybody, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia, near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm in QuickBooks Online in my Kathy's Bookkeeping Test File. And we're going to cover some of the batch tools options in the bank feeds, which include the accept, update, and exclude functions. And as you can see, I am in the LGE checking account right now. And there are several transactions in here going back to November of 2021. And what I want to do is I want to work with some of these batch functions to get some of this stuff in there pretty quickly. But before I can do that, there's a few things I need to do to make sure that we have everything we need to be successful. Now, one of the things I always talk about is making sure that you turn on where it says show bank details. So that way you'll have those bank details in there, which mimic what's on the statements. And once you do that, you also want to make sure that you can also click on the column, your headings, and that will actually sort everything by the bank detail, which is what's going to make this successful. I'm not going to worry about the transfers. What I'm really concerned with is when we get down to the Intuit, the money spent column, what we're concerned with are all, let's see if I can get them all in here. I might not be able to get them all in here once yeah I'll, I'll, I'll group them so let's do this we'll we'll start with 12 22 21 and we're going to go ahead and go through and and these are not in order but that's okay because this is for demonstration purposes this is all money that is being spent and I know that these are merchant fees so I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift button. Yeah, the shift button. That way I select all those. And then as you can see, this little menu pops up. And that indicates that we have 12 money out transactions totaling $257.55. Now before we accept all these, we've got to do something about all these categorized as uncategorized expense because we don't want to just categorize everything as uncategorized expense. We don't want to blanket do that. So what we want to do is we want to go over here and do update. And I know this is a little minor thing, but I would think that into it, I'm going to give them my feedback to share that I would like the update button to be in front of the accept because that's kind of the workflow. You would update, then accept, and then exclude, in my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Well, what this will let you do is you can change the transaction type, which we don't want to do. You can actually also change the payee. In this case, we don't want to change the payee because the payee is correct and into it. But we do want to change the category. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and start typing merchant deposit fees. And then if we wanted to tag that to a customer or a project, then we can do that. So before I apply and accept, I'm going to actually click on apply here. So if you click on apply and accept, that will take them out of the register, but I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And as you can see, that changes those categories and those still remain checked in the register. So that's probably one of the things I'll recommend you do is to make sure that those are categorized correctly before you go ahead and blanket up, accept them. I'll get it out eventually. So anyway, now that we see that everything is categorized correctly, where all those checked, we can go ahead and click on accept and that will move all those out of the register and into the categorized. So I'm not going to switch over the categorized because they're, they're in there. We know that they're in there. And so what we can do now is we've got more to work with here. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to do all these. What I want to do is I want to do just the few that we can see on the screen so I can highlight those. So I'm going to start with the first one and go down here to this 11-30-20-21 one. And I'm going to hold down shift and do that. And then in this case, we're going to go ahead and do update. Same thing. We're not going to change the payee. We're not going to change the transaction type. We're just going to do the same category, merchant service or merchant deposit fees. And this time I'm going to do apply and accept, which will actually remove them from the register all at once when I do this. And so when you go into that, you see now that we've done that a second time, then that through the AI, that is inherent in the product, the software product here. Everything 
is assumed now to be part of that. So we can actually go ahead and accept all those without doing anything else. And that's what I'm going to do here. And there we go. So the other thing that we can do too is we can exclude transactions. Let's say that we've already entered this check number in. And, and since we've reconciled these accounts, we cannot actually do a match to this. So we're going to exclude it. Now you can exclude those in batch as well. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and pretend just because we can undo this action here. What we can do is we can do a batch exclude. And what I'm going to do is I got the money out and the money in and you can, and let me show you something. You cannot update these because it won't let you do anything because the, you, you can only do money out or money in. So that's the one thing I wanted to show you, but you can go ahead and exclude those. So I'll go ahead and click on exclude. And you can do a bunch of these that way if you're doing like a massive cleanup and the reconciliation has already been done and, and you know it's appropriate or, or, or good as far as matching everything. So when you go to exclude, you see those transactions and that even works in reverse here. You can go ahead and if you really need those, you can click on the checkbox here to select all of those or do the control shift like I did before and then undo those and those, those, those back. And it asks you if you're sure. We continue and here we go. And if we go back to for review, you can see that those transactions are in there again. Okay, see they're right here. So anyway, that's basically all I had to show today in regards to this. I hope this helps you. Y'all take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45 minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.